So I've highlighted the uh, rear here. I've used dry brush effect, used the very light grey, just dry brushed it on. And once that dried, I'd gone over with the uh, dark brown uh, MIG enamel wash. I had a go at the cockpit floor as well. Bit of white, oil paint, blended in just to give that dusty effect. And then I did the silver scuff marks. Once they'd all dried, then I went over with a dark brown and a black uh, enamel wash as well. The rear ramp door's done now. Same process, white oil paint, just give that dusty effect. And then I, I added yellow ochre and olive green, just to give a mucky brown, just to give that dusty mud effect. Let that dry and then uh, added a mixture of uh, dark brown and uh, black enamel washes. So I've pinned this baking paper to the board and now I'm going to airbrush uh, the colour on. Now for the cop area, I think it's black, almost like a gloss black they call it. So I'll give it a cut of black, both sides, so I don't know whether there's any properties within the paper that make it greasy. So I'll seal it both sides and then I'll spray a light grey at a shallow angle to catch the embossed parts and then I will seal both sides with um, a clear varnish. So I don't know where the camera's picking that up. Applied the uh, light grey at a shallow angle and uh, I've sealed it with varnish on both sides. Sealed both sides with varnish. I just did the uh, highlights on one side. <laughs> So let that dry and then I can start cutting it out and apply it to the cockpit area. So what I'm going to do now is glue some of this so-called quilting to the plastic parts. This bit here in theory should be a, a grey but like I said I've made it a slight greenish colour just to uh, because I, uh, I want to. Uh, so I'm going to attach the green piece first on this side and then I'll do the black uh, quilting here and in the tunnel later. I've tried a few ideas of attaching to plastic and super glue works a treat but it's trying to get it down quickly enough before it all sets. Uh, wood glue works but it's not permanent it will with a bit of effort peel off but it's not as if it's going to be uh, manhandled a lot I wouldn't have thought. So let's make a start. And a few blobs of uh, super glue. Just gonna let that set, and we'll come back and trim it once it's dried. So I'm still waiting for this one to dry because it's like wood glue, but these ones I've super glued on. I'm just going to put a bit of tissue on these so I'm not scratching the surface. Do the rest. I've left a bit of a bleed down here because it needs to go on the edge. Once I've glued that down and trimmed that to, to size, I may use a bit of Tamiya rubber black just to uh, tidy up these edges. So that's all the quilting added now. I just used super superglue in the end, just uh, bits around the corners. And I found that the wood glue just wrinkle the paper. I've drilled out a couple of holes where some plastic parts will go. The black area of the quilting. I think it works. Better than what the kit had to offer I think anyway. I've had to cut out a couple of bits here where some boxes go later on. But yeah I'm uh, reasonably happy with that. So all the bits have been added that come with the kit. The only thing I've added is the um, baking paper. So that's not too bad that, it looks quite busy. So I've glued the assembly to the uh, floor plan and uh, 
that didn't go very well at all. Uh, I had all sorts of issues with the actual tabs seating in with their holes or slots. I have to scrutinise it that these two parts here were hanging down by about a millimetre. Now I don't know why because they fitted into this recess here perfectly, beautifully. But whatever it was, it's probably my fault anyway. So simple remedy, I just trimmed off the excess at the bottom there and it's seated perfectly. So while that's drying, talk about uh, these bits here. Now I've added some of the windows, uh, just the flat ones. And I've also just added a bit of plastic car protection because there's gonna be a lot of manhandling and I'm just scared of putting my fingers through uh, one of the windows or a bit of force and then popping out. I've just fit the flat windows so you can tell where the dome ones will go. And I've left the dome ones out because I'm scared of catching them or knocking them. Same there, there's just gonna be the one dome window there. The rest are all flat. The other thing I've done is cut these out. Now, with all the etch fret parts that I ever get, I always sand both sides just to take any dirt, grease, or any crap off the surface. I just find that if you do that, it bonds better to the plastic part when you're using super glue. So then these uh, two parts cut out. I did a bit of dry fitting, and you can see where I've had to use a a scalpel blade just to define that area a bit more, just to give it a bit more uh, definition. And after a lot of dry fitting, uh, they seat perfectly now. So I can add those and I'll do that next so I don't forget. So now that's held in place, I shall just use a few blobs of uh, super glue. And now I can start to glue the rest. So the next thing I want to do is to add the uh, ceiling. Goes like that, it's quite a nice fit. So I'm just gonna hold it in place like that and then run glue down these parts here. I may add some sheets of plastic card just to build up from the top there to the bottom there, just as extra uh, attachment points. I'm just let that set and then I'll come back in, maybe add a bit more glue. And as I said, I may add those uh, little uh, block attachment points just to give it a bit more bonding to uh, this part in the fuselage. So I've just secured the ceiling just to give this part a bit more bond to the actual fuselage. Uh, rather than these uh, little tabs here. Now ordinarily, if this uh, top seam is going to be exposed, I'd have done these tabs filling this area just to give it a bit of support when it comes to sanding. But there's going to be a, a drive shaft cover that fits over that entire seam, so which is nice, means something I'd have to clean up. I've also put a little um, tab here just to make uh, these two parts secure to each other and hopefully, um, well, I'm saying hopefully, I've already tested, dry fitted the two um, fuselage parts already and they fit beautifully. So I'm going to let that set. I was uh, dry fitting this. It's a very tight fit. I actually end up bringing some of the um, paper, scratching the paper. But it is a nice fit that's very secure around there. Very impressed. Um, as I said, it's not glued yet, but I'm not going to take it out, so uh, what I'll do next is uh, go away and have a think, and then uh, if I'm happy, as I am now, I shall add glue to these uh, raised tabs here and um, 
make sure this floor is securely clamped to those tabs. I'm going to go and glue the uh, floor next. Uh, I've gone along, or tried to go along making sure that the floor is actually seated on those tabs on the fuselage underneath where the spaces are. It seems secure. So I'm going to run a bead of glue now down each of these tabs. I've put a clamp on each of the tabs, so making sure the floor gets a good bite of that uh, piece there. Just try to make sure I don't uh, flip glue near those uh, transparent parts. As I said, around the uh, cockpit area, it's a nice secure fit. There's no give at all. It's a really good fit. So I'm going to let that uh, go off or set, and then I'll come back, take the clamps off, and just see um, how it all looks. And then uh, I will um, do a dry fitting of the fuselage house together. <laughs> I'll either be laughing or crying. So I've declamped everything, and... Uh, Run some more glue down these uh, tabs again, just to make sure. I've just done the other side. And once that's um, set, I shall declamp this and then just run a bit more down those tabs inside there. Two things I mustn't forget before I add the seats, and that is to add the dome windows and the um, this uh, heater unit. So I've declamped the side of the floor and I'm just protecting these um, dome windows that I've put in. Uh, there's one each side. You can see I've come up with a bit of plastic card just to stop it being scratched or not. So I know it looks odd, but it's just peace of mind. As the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a dry fit first, make sure it all works before I start messing around, adding the heater and more so the seats. I've um, sort of chamfered the edges of the plastic tabs and I've cut out a piece there for the simple reason. I use a bit of very thin plastic card on here and there just to make these two pieces a bit more secure. So you can see that the floor. That seems to have worked. Let's see if we can get some light on that. Seems okay to me. So I'm going to stick the seats in now. I'm going to start by attaching the top. And then um, I've stuck some plastic parts on here just for this backrest to see on the side there. So once that's stuck on top, I can lift this up, apply glue onto these three parts, seat them down, and then I can start adding the uh, legs.
I'll just let that uh, glue go off. Now the glue's set, I've got the tricky bit of adding uh, glue to these uh, three blocks at the back here. Let that go off again. So using some plastic rod, I cut a piece of length, just test fit it, make sure it was okay. And then I'll use that as a template to make all the other legs going along here. And then once that's done, I've got some cross members to go on, which will go diagonally. More fun work. So I've had all the leg struts and the diagonal support ones as well. I used uh, this Tamiya glue, mainly because it's got quite consistency to it and uh, a bit longer drying time. So that gives me a lot more messing around time. I'm going to let that dry now and then uh, once that's dried I shall paint them. And then I've got the uh, task of manhandling these fuselage halves together and making sure that it's all plump and squared off. And the problem with that is to, while I'm doing that there could be all sorts of mayhem going on in here because this is also very dainty. But I can't worry about that. I've got to make sure these two halves are fitted properly and then uh, deal with whatever's gone on inside later but that'll be for the next video i'm going to leave it here um i hope you're all safe and well uh, i want to thank you for watching and uh hope to see you for the next one